Right, today's video we'll be installing a volt DC volt dial gauge and also a 12 volt cigarette lighter connection. Uh, I've also got two USB connections to go in there. This will be going on a Vauxhall Sephira. You can buy this off Amazon or you can get it off eBay. Um, the wiring on here is pretty simple. You've just got your negative and your positives. And uh, you just need to turn around and just connect it. So uh, I'll show you guys how to do that and uh, we'll fit it onto my uh, Sephira. So uh, there you go, you can see the positive and the negative. I'll uh, show you how to wire that up in a second and uh, we'll go from there. Thank you. What you first need to do is put the dial in and then on the back you see, you can see the fasteners. You know, you screw that in and then you, what you do, you just line it up to how you want it. So they're basically secured in, so they won't move around or anything once you connect them and you put them where you want to. Um, so I'll get ahead and put the other three in, the other two in, sorry, and uh, we'll go from there. Right, as you can see, I've put all three of the connectors into the bracket. I've screwed them all on so they look nice and, and fitted well. Now I'm going to be basically connecting these up. So, when I actually put the power onto it, all three of them will be working through my ignition. So, you've got to make sure as well, you see where you got the little uh, USB connector lids, that there's a gap on top of the bracket where they fit nice and snug. So, uh, there you go. Make sure you guys basically just, uh, you know, put it in uh, the proper way. So uh, it looks all nice once you uh, insert this into where you need to put it. I will uh, do the wiring now and show you step by step how to get uh, all three of these connected. And then we'll go over to the car and what we'll do, we will uh, fit it. So we're nice, you know. Thank you. Okay, to uh, connect the actual dials up, I'm just going to use simple cable. Um... That's what it looks like. Just put that over there. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to connect these two ends into that. And then what I'll do, that will come off the positive there, going onto the positive here, and then running onto that positive. So when the actual power goes in, all three of them will be light up. Okay, if you can see that, both cables are into the little spade clip. So I'm squeezing that tight now so it holds down uh, the two wiring so they don't come out. What I'm going to do also, I'm going to put a bit of, uh, you know, insulation tape around it, you know, just uh, for extra measure. So it doesn't come out, so I know it's always going to stay there. Okay, um, I have wired it up now. As you can see, I've got the positive running to the positive there, and then running to the positive over here. And then I've got this coming out, which will go to the positive to the car, wherever I find the power source. And then I've done the same with the negative, same again same again so now we've got the whole circuit connected everything looks tight so uh, we'll get ready to fit this now okay just a second okay i'm not sure where i'm gonna fit this um i'm thinking probably there um looks all right but am i gonna screw have i be able to screw this in I might just have to uh, take the panel out. The panel easy comes out, it comes out from the sides here. All you do is just get a, uh, do a flat screwdriver or a, um, you know, a trim thing, a trim piece, and that'll come out, and that'll come out itself. Um, I'll show you what I did earlier on. Let 
this is basically where I fitted my last set of USB um, connectors. So the Vauxhall Sapphira B. I've got two Volvias, don't ask me why. It's only, only because uh, I thought they looked all right at night, you know. Um, so, as you can see, power supply that. And what I've done, as you can see, the stereo's on. I have wired it up to the ignition. But you're going to have to take the stereo out from there to find the ignition. Very easily found with a uh, electric uh, screwdriver. So as you can see, they look pretty smart. And I've also got these lights, my footwheel lights, I've also done from the ignition. Well, I'm gonna find out where I wanna put these things now. So uh, I think the back might be okay. Um, right, let me get this panel off and uh, I'll, uh, I'll be back in a minute. Yeah, I, I think I'm gonna put them here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna see, I've got a flat screwdriver. All you need to do is just gently yank this out and that comes out. See, as you can see, I've already got my wiring there. So uh, I'm gonna run it off this, the positive and the negative. That's already been added. It's an extra and that runs off the ignition as well. I did that my way. So uh, it's not constantly live. Um, I've also got the old cigarette lighter connection there as you can see it's there that's constantly live so I didn't bother using that I might use that now for my uh, footwell lights I'm going to put underneath here and over there and somewhere around the back there underneath the back seats I don't know if you guys can see that it's there but anyway, that's another video right so what I'm going to do I'm going to take this panel out and then uh, might have to just cut this out and then you see you can see that guys um put that connector into there and it looks all right i think it'll work but i'm gonna have to secure it from behind when i cut the panel okay i'll be back for that all right we'll sort that out thank you okay guys um <laughs> Well, it's not the best, but it's all right. It's okay from there. I've cut that per panel out now. So what I'm going to do, I mean, as you can see, I've just uh, melted it out. I thought it'd be quicker. It doesn't look that nice from beyond, but no one's going to see that. All right, so uh, what we're going to do, let's see if this, uh, let's just have a little try with this. You know, that will sit in that. Um, the wiring's in the way. Uh, just a just a second. Let me just uh, quickly just uh, if you guys can see that. I'll bring it here. I'll just quickly put that all in the way it should be. All right, that's really. Okay, yeah, um, as you can see now, that's what it'll look like. Hey, I think that looks pretty good. Um, yeah, not bad. I think that look, that's going to look pretty snug. I've got to find a way out to secure this now, so... Uh, I think I'll uh, force them screws in somehow. All right, let's have a look from behind. Um, it's not bad. I mean, the cutting's not all the best, but no one's going to see that. It's the front of it that matters, isn't it? Right, okay. Um, yeah, I'm happy with that. I'm very happy with that. Yeah, um, excellent. I think it looks really good. All right, um, let me screw this down and I'll get back to you guys, uh, you know, for the next part of uh, connecting it. Okay, guys, this is... Uh, Looking fantastic. Um, I'll tell you what, it's a good tip here, yeah. Um, the screws they supplied with it, you know, because of the angle, the way inside kind of goes outwards, you can't really get the screws. So what I did, I got a pair of pliers, 
picked up the screw, warmed it up, and then yanked it into the sides, and then you screw the screw in, so it's easily, so, so it easily basically melts the plastic as, as, as well as you can tighten it down quickly enough as well. So yeah, I'm very happy with this. Let's go and connect this up now. You know, hopefully cross fingers, this will work. Okay guys, uh, we're back here now. So all that's been connected. It's all solid, it looks all good. Right, what I'm gonna do, you see, now that is the negative. And there's the positive. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna run it off this. What I've already fed through here, that's the positive there, it's a negative here. And uh, also just decided to connect my uh, footwell lights I'm gonna, footwell lights I'm gonna connect up. Right, let's get this connected anyway. Let's get this sorted out and then I'll get back to you. All right, we'll see how this looks. Okay guys, that's all wired up. As you can see, I'm running it off this here. The positive and the negative. I've got two extra wires connecting off here. Only because I'm going to connect another cigarette lighter and put it inside. And use that for my footwell lights that I'm going to be installing tomorrow. So uh, those are, <laughs> that's the positive there. And... Uh, got the negative one in there so right, let's switch this on cross fingers this doesn't blow up oh wow now we're talking look so basically is that running and that's on now on so why is that running constantly i think i know why that's my stereos on okay but that is looking sweet guys yeah all right guys uh, had a bit of an issue actually there was a straight live coming to that um i need to I've connected it now. Now the positive the negative's come off now. But what I'll do, I'll get that quickly connected and I'll show you the outcome. So it's all controlled by ignition. So nothing, nothing stays on whatsoever when the car is, uh, when the key's not in. Okay, I'll be back in a jiffy. Right, guys. And that's connected. Um, hopefully this will work now. Let me get over to the ignition. Switch this on. Just switch the engine on. Okay, those are on. They look amazing at night. It's only volt test to volt meters anyway, and nothing special. Oh yes. Now we're talking. Now that's gonna look snug in there. Look at that. Absolutely brilliant. It's a fantastic job. All right, so uh, listen guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, hopefully if you enjoyed the video, you know press the like button and uh, yeah tomorrow i'll be installing my uh footwell light underneath uh, the back seats so uh, thank you very much